Your brother called today. He started a new job working downtown. Good for the boy. He leaves a small town for the big city and now he owns a business there. You could never have done that, not on a chance. Two days later, you'd be back home with your tail between your legs. Suleiman, leave the boy alone. Am I wrong? Isn't this cute little son of yours useless and incompetent like I said? Tell me one thing he's accomplished. He couldn't get into a good school, couldn't find a good job, couldn't even take over his father's business. And the money in his pocket comes from my pension Suleiman, stop. Can't we have one meal in peace? You've upset the boy. So he's upset. Does he get upset when he wanders the streets as an unemployed bum? Idle hands of the devil's playground. Nothing good is going to come of That's him. enough. <gasps> Do you really think that I like being unemployed? I want to go to work. It's the only thing I ever think about. I start every day trying to find a job. I go to City Hall each morning to see whether my job application has been accepted or not. I pray every day to find a future and to be a useful person. You can't pray for that if you don't believe in it yourself. And you don't. You don't know anything about me, Papa. Ever since I was a little kid, you've done nothing but compare me to my older brother. Watch your mouth and show some respect. I am your father, you idiot. If you are my father, you should treat me like I am your son mm. and not like a stranger. Kids. <clears throat> Hi, good morning. Good morning, Hassan. Good morning, Susan. Is that boy still unemployed? I don't think he wants to get a job. He's just a worthless loser. Will Hassan ever succeed in finding employment? Will he find what he is looking for? Perhaps this situation is going to help Hassan determine what he truly wants to do with his future. Don't you think so? You think it's easy to find a job in City Hall? You think they'll just accept your application right away? The head of the department got reassigned. Who knows what's going to happen now? What I'm saying is this. Don't hold your breath waiting for a job. Hey, man, why don't you watch where you're going? For God's sake. Waiting for my brother? I am. But he's late. He should have been here by now, shouldn't he? When he didn't come to dinner, we got worried too. Maybe a storm or something came up. Maybe there was a lot of fish. Oh look! Here he is now. <sighs> Are you alright, Hassan? Sure. I'm fine. Why do you ask? I don't know. Your eyes are a little swollen, like you've been crying. How are things at home? Fine. Nothing's wrong, it's fine. Same old stuff, you know. Must be tough without a job. I believe in you, Hassan. I'm sure you'll find a good job. I know you have a great future ahead of you. Because you're so smart, 
You can do anything. Hmm. Thanks. Yeah. How's it going? Not so good. I'm still looking for a job. Come on, we'll talk. I fought with my dad again. I'm sick of him humiliating me every single day. I saw Susan and her mother gossiping about how much I must like being unemployed. Then I got turned down again at the town hall. They changed supervisors. Now I have to reapply. Things don't always go the way you want them to, Hassan. But don't give up. Don't lose your hope, man. Go reapply tomorrow. They'll hire you soon. No, I won't go back there again. Istanbul has plenty of available Istanbul. jobs. Istanbul? Hassan? So you're not going to live here? I wouldn't call what I'm doing here living, Guljan. Don't do that, Hassan. Have some faith, man. Try town hall tomorrow. Get a meeting with that new supervisor. Just tell him what you want. Let him see your dedication and show him how enthusiastic you are. I can't do that, Ahmet. That's not me, you know that. It's what you've got to do. Don't think about it. Just do it. You can do much more than you think you can. Okay, so you think I should try Town Hall one more time? Of course! Get there first thing in the morning. Find the new supervisor and tell him what you want. Do your best and trust in God. I was just thinking about you. Where have you been? Here and there, Mom. Would you like something to eat? No, thanks. I'm not hungry, Mom. But thanks anyway. The Department of Education thanks you for your great performance. Oh, what a performance. Okay. Why are you talking to yourself? Mom, why do you hang this thing on the wall? Every time I put it away, you take it out again. Like it was something valuable. Something we're proud of. Please, Mom, put it away. Mom. Why am I so unsuccessful? I'm such a failure, but why? Oh, baby, sweetheart. Everything's going to turn out all right. You'll see. The Lord will help you find what you're looking for. Lord, help me. Morning. Mm. Hey, what are you doing? Who do you think you are? You can't stroll in here like you own the place. I'm meeting the new supervisor today. You must call for an appointment. You can't get in without one. I've called a hundred times and they never call back, so I'm just gonna go up there. Hey, hold on! Hey, you can't do that! It's against regulations! This is why you're here, Sally. This old inspection team is done. They're history. They shake down the shopkeepers for bribes, there's not an honest one in the bunch. Hmm. They had everybody scared to death. Nobody dared to say a single word against them. And then, we received incriminating evidence of their corruption, and I fired the whole bunch of them. I see, sir. I got good references about you. I'm sure that you've done lots of cleanup operations like this in the past, haven't you? I have some experience, sir. Good luck with the new job, Sally. Hire some new inspectors, ones with integrity, and help me clean up this department. You'll stop! do it. I trust you. I tried to stop him, sir, but I couldn't. Oh, Mr. Mayor, I beg your pardon, sir. I didn't know you were busy, sir. It's all right. I need a job, Mr. Mayor. For the last ten months, I've been coming here every morning. I applied months ago, but now I'm tired of waiting, sir. Look, you should have an appointment. You can't just storm into this office. But then, since he's here, 
I would do my very best to properly carry out whatever responsibility you give me, sir. I was born and raised here in town, and I can provide references. What position did you apply for before? General inspection, sir. Then you have to talk to Mr. Demir. And if he approves, you'll have the job you seek. But never barge in on people so rudely again. Officials of the General Inspection's office don't behave like that. I will overlook it this time, but not again. Got it? Mm -hmm. Hey, man, why don't you watch where you're going? Hmm. I can't believe I did that. And I almost had the job. Come back, Hassan. Don't be so pessimistic. Excuse me, how do you know my name, sir? You already told me your name. Or at least I think you did. Hmm. Hmm. Why don't you sit down for a second? We all make mistakes, Hassan. What's important is that we learn from our mistakes. So I suggest we both forget about yesterday. Thanks, I will. Before you came in, I was talking with the mayor about hiring new employees. Let's do this. Come work for me in the general inspector's office on a 15-day trial basis. Let's see if you can be as enthusiastic as you say you are. But wait, I don't understand. Are you hiring me now or not? I am. You're hired. But I'm not the one who will decide if you stay in this job. That's going to be up to you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate this. I won't make you regret it. I won't. I promise you, I won't. I have to go tell my father now. I have to tell him, but, but I can't start work right now if you like. I mean, I... You will start work uh, tomorrow, tomorrow morning. morning. Right. You That's a deal. Now. Thank you very much. Thank the Lord. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> the presence of nice things around us is a test, and their absence is another test for humans. Prosperity can sometimes be a challenge. Correct. That's why the great followers of our faith prayed all the time, do not give me wealth that will destroy my faith and respect in you. Wealth can lead to ambition. And it can stimulate man's pride. What is the cure? The cure is to value helping others over increasing one's own wealth and bounty. Hassan's at the beginning of a good test. He is going to learn either to give and love or he will become one who loses himself in the get-rich-quick race. Papa! Papa! Papa, they hired me. I got the job. I'll be an inspector for the township. I did what you were asking for, Papa. I did it, Papa. It's nothing to get a job. Anyone could do that. It takes a smart man to keep a job. Hello. Huh? Hello, Hassan. Come sit down. Thanks. I think hey, I'll Hassan. stand. So did you go down to the town hall? Yeah, I did. And so? So they gave me the job. I'm starting tomorrow morning. Are you serious? Oh, great. Congratulations, Hassan. Thanks. But you don't look very happy, do you? My dad. He acted like I'd done something wrong. Once you bring money home, I'm sure you'll change his attitude. I'm sure that you will get promoted very quickly, Hassan. It isn't easy to get a job as an inspector, especially at your age, Hassan. Congratulations, really. Uh, Susan needs some help. I'm going to give her a hand. I want to tell her my good news. See you soon. Susan, how are you? Here, let me carry that for you. Thanks, Hassan. Hey, I just got a job in the town hall. Congratulations. Doing what? I'm an inspector. <laughs> and do you have to wear that funny suit? Uh, yeah, maybe. I always thought you'd get a more important government job, you know. I was gonna tell you something. Oh, what were you going to say? 
Well, um, well, now that I have a job, maybe we can talk to your folks about us. What are you talking about, Hassan? There is no us. Me with some stupid town inspector. <laughs> Give me that. You've got some nerve, Hassan. For God's sakes, leave me alone. So did you talk to her? She said that I was stupid. She didn't like my news. What will I do, Amit? What will I do? You're gonna start your new job, and everything will work out for you. You'll see. Let's get a cup of hot tea. <sighs> Hassan is doing pretty well. He has pulled himself together. But that isn't enough. Hassan must go beyond himself. Beyond himself? What's that mean? No one is given a greater burden than he is able to bear. Do you see that black car over there? I know those men. Aren't they the ones who are trying to get an illegal building permit from the mayor? They seem determined. Their intentions are wrong. The Lord has adorned his creations with a great wisdom. The bowels of the earth contain the fires of hell, while on the surface there is a heavenly existence. In the midst of a harsh winter, spring is hidden. So what will happen? This evil scene may be a means to good things for both Hassan and the mayor. The mayor is about to leave the building. Now... Hmm? Thank you. You're welcome. Hassan, when the mayor comes out, get in front of him and don't leave him no matter what, all right? All right, sir. But why? You just do as I told you, Hassan. Very well, sir. You can't park here, sir. Please move your car immediately. Good morning, Hassan. Uh, hello, Mr. Mayor. Will you please get out of my way? I can't do that, sir. I'm sorry. Come That's on, sir. Order. Move. Please. I said move. Right now. Son, are you all right? What Come on, move it! Shooting! Mr. Mayor, look out! Why, you pigs? How dare you? I will never give you that building permit! Mayor, Mayor, are you all right? You're a brave from? man. Thank you, son. Hassan, you saved my life. You're a hero. My boy! Thank you so much, Hassan. Next to me is a true hero. Not only did this public servant save my life, but he also showed me how dedicated he is to providing public security to us all. Just as he saved my life a few days ago, I believe he would throw himself into the worst danger without blinking an eye to save any of our citizens, just like he did that unfortunate day. So in my capacity as mayor of our wonderful town, and with the approval of my colleagues on the town council, I hereby proclaim, Hassan Basholu is a true hero. Here, a token of our appreciation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Now, I'd like to ask, would you like to be my new personal bodyguard? Thank you, sir. That would be fine by us. Excellent. He has a new job. <laughs> Hmm. Hmm. So, you're a hero. Because your name's in the newspaper, do you expect an award from me too? No, Papa. I just well, thought... Well, uh, don't waste your breath. All right, all right, just give it to me. I must say, you don't appreciate your son. He's a hero. What more can he do for you? We need him to accomplish things, not perform useless heroics. He needs to contribute to this house. Okay, Papa. If that's what you want. Here. Mm. Just take it. I'm going out. I'll be back late. Son, forget about it. You know what your father is like. Forget it. The man won't be satisfied no matter what I do. What? Is everything I do a show for him? <laughs> Hi, son. How are you? I'm doing good, thanks. 
We didn't know you were capable of such great things. We're all really proud of you. <laughs> well, it wasn't anything big. It was just part of my job. That's right. Keep up the good work. You take good care of the mayor. <laughs> With you around, nothing bad can happen to him again. <laughs> take care, you guys. Be well. Goodbye, my friend. Oh, my. Isn't he the guy in the paper? The local hero? <laughs> uh, another day, another pile of sticks, huh, buddy? <laughs> hmm. Oh, this is a good one. Hassan? Uh, hi, Susan. All I see in the paper are your pictures. Uh, really? Really. My mother saw them, too. She was very surprised. Oh, please send her my best. She was wondering when you and I would get together. What? To do what? Wh wh where are we going? Who who's coming? Don't you understand? She just said to me that we should start planning about our future together and stuff. Are you serious, Susan? Are you really? Uh, well, we... Well, then, right away, I mean... Then I'll come and... I will talk to my folks and we'll come right away, okay? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! It looks like Hassan has finally made it. Humans face many tests, and these tests continue to appear throughout a person's life. Hassan seems so optimistic. It appears that he can get through all those dangerous curves in the road. The Lord alone knows their hearts, and actions are recorded and sorted according to the results. So... A diamond must go through various phases to be separated from coal. It undergoes a time of refinement. People have to undergo a time of refinement, don't they? Correct. Hassan appears to be at the beginning of his journey. So this is his test? What is the value of a diamond that stays sealed in a lump of coal? Congratulations, Hassan. <laughs> Thanks. You're a great man, Hassan. Hey, thanks. We saw you in the paper, man. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Congratulations, Hassan! Thank you! Hello, Guljan. Ah, uh, Hassan. I was just reading about you in the newspaper. Yeah, it's really no big deal. Is Ahmed here? He'll be here soon. Can you sit down? No, I can't stay. I have to talk to him about this marriage business and stuff uh, like that. What do you mean, marriage business? Well, I'm planning to marry Susan, you know. Oh, that's right. Oh, look who's here. Hassan the hero. Good to see you. Oh, Ahmed. Come on, man. Stop it. So what's up with you, man? I'm getting married, man. I need to talk to you. Uh... Amit, I gotta go home. See you later. Okay. Come on, tell me all about it. <sighs> when I saved the mayor's life, things really changed. Hello, Ahmet. Hey, what's up? Captain Idris sends his greetings, and he wants you to make up the difference. There's no difference to make up, Halil. I agreed up to 15, and that's what I delivered to him. No. Three of those were short, in every lot. In ten lots, that makes thirty. It makes three hundred at ten per delivery. You need to check your math, my friend. My math is good. Pay your debt. Don't squabble over this. If Ahmed said it's not short, it's ah. not short. Is this the hero? Mm -hmm. The one who was in all the papers today. Oh, come <laughs> on. He's a real tough guy. Pokes his nose into everything. Knock it off, come on. Enough. I'll talk to Captain Idris about it tomorrow. No. No, you won't. The captain told us to get the money now. Hey, don't be such a dumbass. Give me the money. Stop, wait a minute. What's the matter? Mr. Hero's afraid? Ah. <laughs> Hassan, don't! No. Ah, run! Ahmed. Run for it! Ahmed! Ahmed! Ahmed, man! But you don't understand. Hassan! Ah. Ah. Hassan, tell me, how is my brother? <laughs> He's in intensive care. Be brave, Guljan. He's going to get well. How did it happen? Why did it happen? My brother wouldn't do anything to anybody. Why? It was all my fault. I didn't jump in front of that knife. I wasn't brave enough. But Ahmet did. And now, he's in intensive care. Don't, Hassan. Don't blame yourself. The ones responsible are those thugs who attacked him, not you. But... How can I ever look Ahmet in the eyes again, Guljan? I have to tell him I couldn't protect him. I have to tell him I couldn't stop those men. You don't have to protect anybody, Hassan. We're only human. I'm going to be with my brother. You go and get some rest. I'll let you know what's going on, okay? You have to go to work tomorrow. You are so understanding, Guljan, and so strong. 
Hassan. Guljan. Oh, hi. How are you? How's Ahmet? I was going to see him, but the mayor has a very busy schedule. Eh, uh, you know, he's made me his private bodyguard now. I have to go where he goes, that's why. It's all right, Hassan. It's really not important. But my brother's condition is very critical. What do you mean? Would you go talk to the doctor? Uh, right now? Hold it. What's the matter with Ahmet? It's bad. His condition is critical. So then let's get to the hospital right now. But the mayor... I'll deal with that. Don't worry. Come on. Let's go. Here's the situation. The patient has received a knife wound that has damaged his kidney. The organ was not strong in the first place, but the knife wound has destroyed all of that kidney's remaining functions. God. He'll survive, but only if we give him a kidney transplant. I examined the kidney of his sister, Gulchan, but the tissue is incompatible, so we need to find an acceptable organ at once. That's what I can tell you for the moment. Excuse me. Of course. I... I need to go see my brother. <sighs> this happened because of me. It was my fault. I showed off in front of those guys, but I didn't protect my friend. <sighs> Don't say that. Remember that each challenge we face is sort of a test. Amit must be facing his own test right now. When you claim that you caused this, then you claim that your will is more powerful than the will of God. And that's not so. If you let yourself get overcome by feelings of guilt, you won't have room left for any other feeling. It will destroy you. What do you mean? What you should feel now is not a feeling of guilt. You should think about helping somebody who needs your help. I guess, but maybe I should donate my kidney to Ahmed? Wouldn't he do the same for his friend? Yes, he would. But then... But then what? <sighs> it's just that... If I donate a kidney, my life will change completely. I couldn't do what I'm doing with only one kidney. I would have to quit my job. Then Suzanne wouldn't want to marry me? Of course, my father, he wouldn't accept such a thing. I would cause a big rift in my family. What you say may not be true, but does that matter? Ask yourself this, what would Amit do? I remember when we went fishing for the first time. Do you? Like that. I landed this huge tuna on my line. I couldn't reel it in by myself. But you took hold of my line to do it. Actually, you were there for me every time I needed you. Every time. Then you almost couldn't reel it in, remember? So we, so we both grabbed hold of the line together. The line broke, but we got the fish into the boat. You caught the fish, but you told everyone. You said, that Hassan was the one who caught the really big fish. I felt proud. It was the first time I had done something important in my life. <laughs> Thanks to you. Nobody in my life has treated me as good as you have treated me. It's time, sir. You'll tire the patient. Mm -hmm. I'm praying for you, pal. Hang in there. Oh. 
We can go now, sir. I've seen my friend. All right, Hassan. May God help you, Cool John. He didn't do it. He couldn't do it. He couldn't ask them to examine his kidneys. All I'm asking is, what would you do with only one Shh. kidney? Keep your voice down or Papa will hear us. I didn't make any promises. I didn't say take it. But Cool John was obviously waiting for me to make the offer. But if his own sister's kidney was incompatible, what's the chance that mine is? You can never know, my boy. What if God wills it? Nothing's going to happen. Don't worry. I just started my job. I got everything straightened out. I am just an inch away from marrying Susan. I have to watch out. Don't worry about it. But then, then I saw Ahmet lying in that bed, helpless, with all those tubes and stuff stuck into him. I mean, I really wanted to then. I did. Oh, I'm scared, Mama. I am really scared. Hassan. Oh, Susan. How are you? I am not at all well. I heard something. My mother has a friend who's a nurse. She came and told my mom. What did she tell you? They didn't tell me a thing. I overheard them talking about organ donations. Ahmet needs someone to donate a kidney. Come on, Susan. I never said anything like that. I never promised anyone I would give them my kidney. Your mother's friend got it wrong. I just wanted to hear it, Hassan, from you. You'd better watch yourself. I won't have anything to do with a man with one kidney. I'm warning you. Oh. Hassan. Ah, yes, sir. You look like you're in a state of shock. I do look shocked, don't I, sir? That's because I am. Hassan, calm down. Nothing can happen that is contrary to the will of God, understand? Whatever God wills for our lives, is for the best. Get in the car. Uh, hey, Move what's it. going on? What's going on? Move. Get in. Get out. Are you going to tell me what you want Shut from up. me? Move. Move. Come on. Hello. Do you remember this man? No. Stupid jerk. Now listen to me. Pay attention. You work very closely with the mayor, don't you? Mr. Mayor. Shut up! You're gonna find a way to make him sign this paper. Sorry. I can't make him do something like that. We'll do it. It's because of you we didn't finish him off the last time. Oh yeah, I remember you now. You're the guy that took a shot at the mayor. What a strong memory you have. Take this paper and get the mayor to sign it. He likes you. You can go in and out of his office whenever you want to. 
You mix it in with his other papers, so he signs it without realizing it. But... But I can't do such a thing. I can't. How could I? It would be wrong. It's against the law. Think about this. Now, listen to me. If you do what I say, you'll have a gorgeous house, a duplex, on the seashore. You'll also receive the equivalent of the salary that takes you three years to make it that stupid little job you have working for the town government. Right now, in cash. Tax-free. Are you joking? Of course I'm not joking. Do I look like I'm joking? Do you think I brought you all the way up here just to make you laugh? No. I will also pick up the tab for your wedding to Susan. A big wedding. How do you know about Susan? Because I know everything. Good luck to you, Hassan. Now go get that paper signed. Do it! John, what is it? Nothing, Hassan. Please tell me what it is. Hassan. What? My brother. My brother. What happened? Has Ahmed died? Stop it. Of course he didn't die. But he will die if... The doctor said he would definitely die if we can't find a kidney, Hassan. Why won't anybody help us? We don't have a mother or a father. We have nowhere to go. Thank you so much. Not at all. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Please don't cry, Kuljam. What else am I supposed to do, Hassan? My brother is dying. Understand me? He's dying. You... <laughs> Come with me. To where? To find out if I can help Ahmed. Let's go. Move it. <sighs> Doctor? Yes? Uh, my kidney. I want to have it tested to see whether or not it's compatible with Ahmed's. <gasps> Hassan. Hmm? May I talk to you, sir? Of course, Hassan. What is it? It's my resignation. What's wrong? I thought you liked your job, Hassan. It's not that. Far from it. I've decided to give Ahmet my kidney. The doctors ran some tests. Oh, yes? They were positive, sir. I've been cleared to donate my kidney to Ahmet. I'm really happy about this, Hassan. Me too. My life will truly change on account of this, but... I have to do it for my friend. So I have to start changing my life, starting with this job. Since I won't be able to do a job that requires a lot of activity, I have to resign, sir. All right. Then I will accept your resignation. Hassan, you are a great friend. Thank you. Thank you.
Please, God, help us. Oh, God, why is it taking so long? Doctor, how are they? The operation was a success. It took quite a long time, but it was worth it. Both of the patients will be taken back to their rooms after a short stay in recovery. Oh, thank goodness. We will have to keep your brother under observation for a while, ma'am. Here in the hospital, of course. We have to make sure that his new kidney is not rejected by his body. I see. Thank you so much, Doctor. You can see both of the patients when they return to their rooms. Best of luck to you, ma'am. Thank you very much. Goodbye. Thank God. Are you feeling better, Hassan? Yes. <sighs> Hassan, I don't know how to thank you for what you did. My brother was all I had in this world. You have saved his life and mine. May God bless you. I didn't do anything, Kuljan. Ahmed has endangered himself for me many times. He looked out for me ever since we were little kids. I don't have a lot of friends either. And your brother is the best friend I have. I pray he will get well quick and we'll have lots of happy times. How is he? Well, he's still in intensive care. God willing, he'll be fine. <laughs> Guljan, while I was sleeping, did Susan visit me? No, she didn't. Maybe she'll come before I leave the hospital. Maybe. I'm going to see my brother, Hassan. Hassan? Hassan? Uh, Papa, I can explain everything. What have you done? Huh? What? Papa, I... Ahmet was dying. Ahmet was dying, so I... My son, my dear boy, you finally amounted to something. What you have done is wonderful. It was a great sacrifice that few people would have done. I am proud of you. You really think so, Papa? Your father is telling the truth? Since he heard you gave Ahmet your kidney, he's done nothing but cry with happiness. Come on, watch it. Don't exaggerate. Well, I guess I did cry a little bit. Oh, Papa. <laughs> you really aren't mad at me? <laughs> hey, where's Ahmed? They've got him in another room. He still needs intensive care, but he's okay. Good. Did Susan come by? Hmm. No, my son. She never stopped by. That's okay. That's okay. I'll get out of here in a couple of days. Maybe she doesn't want to see me lying all sick in this bed. Maybe she'll come see me later, huh? Susan didn't come. Hassan. Hassan, how does that man know you? Do you know who he is? Well, Papa, see... Come with us, Hassan. The boss wants you. Papa, I have to go now. No. Oh, no. Stay right here. You can't have anything to do with those men. Those are murderers, crooks, and evil men. Papa, I must. Hassan, come back. Come so back. Oh. Papa, I have to go. Hassan. Hassan. No. Oh. <laughs> And I thought you had finally become a man. Shame on him. Oh. Shame on you. Get out. Move it. You look well, Hassan. 
The loyalty you showed your old friend filled my eyes with tears. Really? But it also made me sick to my stomach. Since you gave your buddy a kidney, I think you should give me half of your stomach. You know why my stomach hurt, Hassan? Because of what the guys told me you did. My guys said, Hassan took your paper and then tore it up into little pieces right there on the street. And then he walked away, they said. True or false? True or false? <laughs> yes, it's true. Oh. That's too bad. Too bad for you. You fool. Now listen to me carefully, Hassan, and what I'm about to tell you. Go into the mayor's office and find some official documents that already have his signature. You will put a piece of carbon paper under that document and copy his signature onto my document. I just can't do this. Yes, you can! <sighs> will. Here it is. You will forge the mayor's name onto this copy of the contract that you tore up before. I will sign the other side. And that way, we will have a legal contract with the mayor for the next 15 years. It is a contract that will allow me to build whatever I like and wherever I like anywhere in this filthy little town. Do you understand? I can't do it. I can't do it. I can't do it! <sighs> That's your choice. But if you don't, you'll never see your papa again. What? You heard what I said. Do what I say. Do it now! We know you can get inside the mayor's office. Get in there right now and bring me his signature before nightfall. Now go! Hassan, how's it going? Hope you're better. I am, thank you. If you're here to see the mayor, he's out. He is? Uh, I can wait in his office for a while. All right, make yourself at home. The mayor thinks the world of you, especially after this kidney incident. He can't praise you enough. Thanks. I'll see you. Hassan. Hello, are you better? Did you come to see the mayor? He's away at a meeting right now. I know. I'll stop by later then. Hassan? Hold on, Hassan. We need to talk. <sighs> he must know. 
going to do? My god, what can I do? What? <sighs> Susan! Susan! H how are you? What do you care? Why would you think that? You decided not to listen to me and give your stupid kidney away. We don't have anything to talk about now. Don't say that, Susan. If you were in my shoes, you'd have done the same. I never would have done such a stupid thing. Now go away, get lost. Don't chase me away, Susan. I need your help. I need a place to hide out. What? What? Are you a fugitive uh, shh, now? Shh. Help me! Somebody, help me! Police! Help me! Are you comfortable, Ahmet, dear? I am very comfortable, thank you. Who's banging on the door? I'll go see who it is. Ah. Uh, hello. Hello, Hassan. Come on in. Thanks. <laughs> Ahmet, how are you? Very well, Hassan. I haven't been able to thank you like I should. God bless you. Don't mention it. It's nothing. Hassan, what's the matter? Why are you so nervous? No, nothing. Nothing, huh? Guljan, who's at the door? Find out who it is. All right. All right, Hassan. Hassan? Uh, you okay? I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Who's there? It's me, Sally. Oh no, he found me. Hello. Hello, Sally. How is Ahmet? Very well, thank you. Has Hassan been here today? Uh, Hassan? No, he hasn't. Really? Uh-huh. If you do see him, please tell him that it's very important we talk as soon as possible. I will, of course, Sally. Goodbye, then. Goodbye. <sighs> Guljan, um, uh, thank you very much, but why didn't you tell him where I was? Because you didn't want him to know that, Hassan. Yeah, but you see, I've done something that's very wrong, and my boss is looking for me. <laughs> You couldn't have done that, Hassan. You're the best person in the world. Is it something you want to talk about? Guljan, you're very kind. I don't know how to thank you. I'm going now. If you need anything, call me, okay? You're up to something, but we'll find out soon enough. Thanks. What's going on? Your father. They took your father, son. They took him away, Hassan. I begged them over and over again, but they just... They took your father away. Okay. 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 Don't worry. I'll go get him. I'll get him. It's okay, Mom. Where are you? I'm here! Where's my father? Give him back to me. You brought the paper? I've got your damn paper. Where's my father? I told you by nightfall. They almost captured me. I thought I would get arrested. You're so green. If you were going to get arrested, it would have happened by now, stupid. The paper. My father. Me first, then your papa. 
Oh no. You bring me my father now, or else I tear this up. No! Do you want to die? Where is my father? Where is he? My father now. Bring the guy out here. Move it. Move. This way. Papa. 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 Son. Papa. Good for you. You did it. You'll get your money and the beach house, as per our agreement. You can keep the house and the money, you filthy leech. All I want is my father. Go to Istanbul. You can stay here. We'll work together and take care of things. No, Papa, I have to go. I have to find a way to make my living in some other town. You know, I can't stay here. Something would happen if I did. Mm. I'll try to come back when it's safe. Mm -hmm. Let's hope for the best. Will you be calling your brother? <laughs> Don't worry, Mama. He's going to pick me up at the station. Take good care, my son. Take care of yourself, Papa. <laughs> we'll manage. You look after yourself, my boy. May the Lord keep you safe. Hassan? Yes, sir? Where are you going? Well, Istanbul. I'm going to work for my brother. The mayor wants to have a talk with you. The mayor? But why? You should ask him that yourself. Oh, no. I can't do it. I can't. Son, go talk to him. Yeah, just to see what he wants. I will, Papa, if you want me to. That sounds fine, sir. Then I guess I'll talk to you later this evening. Okay. Ah, Hassan, come in, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Mayor. You came to see me yesterday. A little bird told me. I, uh, that's right. Uh, you see... I was out at a meeting, and we weren't able to talk. Well... Sally, shall you tell him, or shall I? You know, Hassan, my assignment here was short-term. I set up the system his honor requested, and now I'm leaving. So you mean we're not going to see each other again? Well, I hope we'll be able to visit each other, Hassan. Anyway... His Honor the Mayor and I have agreed that my replacement needs to be someone who he can count on to maintain the system I have set up for him. And so we decided to put you in charge of this system. <laughs> Me? <laughs> yes, young man, you. Where would I ever find another dedicated, reliable man like you? You are almost an expert in the fine art of life-saving. <laughs> Don't worry. Sally has set everything up for you so that you can manage it from your desk. You won't need to wear yourself out by running around. It all works like clockwork. It's that simple. Mr. Mayor, this is, this is great, but I mean, I... Mayor! Mayor! Mr. Mayor! Who is this man? What do you mean barging in like this? Your Honor, Your Honor, I beg your pardon. This guy, without listening to me... It's all right. I'll take care of it. Back to work. Ooh. You've decorated my office very well. Are you out of your mind? What do you mean your office, you disrespectful man? <laughs> this is my office. Look, when you signed this contract, you basically turned the entire town hall building over to me. <laughs> Isn't that your signature right there? It is. It's mine, but I never signed such a document. Are you out of your mind? Those are our signatures, and it's been witnessed. 
That contract will hold up in any court. Just read it. Oh my god. It's not such a bad contract, now is it? <laughs> it doesn't say much. Only that you've given me the exclusive rights to do all the town government construction projects. That's all. <laughs> 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 Man, uh, you've lost your mind. I've lost my mind? Do you know what this contract says? <laughs> of course I do. I wrote it. <laughs> <laughs> Look at it again. Tell me what it says. <sighs> I, Sabrisati, enter into this contract with Mayor Murat Shashmas. Within the confines of the Karach municipality, we'll never undertake any construction projects whatsoever, nor will I ever place a bid to do so. What is all this? I... I declare and commit myself. But... Uh, how could this have happened? I am going to kill you! I'm going to Hold kill on. you! I'm Hold going on, to my good fellow. Stop that. Idiot. <laughs> I'm going to tell you this on Come on out. So, officer, do you accept my offer? I do, Your Honor. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Everything has come together once again in perfect order. Because the Lord willed it to be so, Sally. He wished it all to take place through Hassan. Certainly, the Lord sometimes purifies his people of their weaknesses by giving some of them handicaps and others tests that will make them more mature and wise. But many humans perceive these trials merely as evils and do not see the real wisdom in them. They're distracted. But Hassan was brave enough to confront his fear and his trials. He tried hard, and it looks like he succeeded. How wise are those who perceive the true meaning of those trials? They're blessed 